So today I'm going to go over how to correctly connect the gas pipe. So, gas pipe, steel pipe, whether it's gas or water, has tapered threads that are going to go in, and as they go in, they squeeze against each other, which is creating a seal. See now, that's as far as I can go in right now by hand. So, this is not going to quite make the seal because I can't get it in far enough. So therefore, we need some kind of pipe dope. I like using this. This is just pro dope. It's just some gray clay stuff. It cleans up super easy off of me. Here's some other stuff. Uh, this stuff is uh, real tough or whatever. This makes a mess. Gets on everything. There's a lot of different stuff, but you're gonna need tools, pipe wrenches. I mean, you could use like channel lock style. These are connect backs, these don't slip. They definitely help that when you're doing small stuff, you don't need the big wrenches. Never use this on half inch or three quarter unless you're loosening. Never tighten with a wrench this big when you got really small pipe. 14 inch is pretty much all you need for a quarter inch pipe. I mean, for a half inch pipe or a three quarter pipe, you can probably go to 18 inch at times two foot you're gonna to put too much pressure you never want to over tighten your fittings now I show you some sealant now there's people who say you could use Teflon this never use white Teflon on gas it deteriorates and it'll actually plug up the strainer on a gas valve I've seen it happen yellow tape is usually what most guys have used for the years but like blue monster here you read this it says that it is for natural gas an assembly handling natural gas methane propane butane and petroleum so therefore it will not eat it up this is a lot thicker of a tape so this is safe for gas and so is the yellow stuff but I still prefer just to use the dope so now let's quickly make a connection and then what I'm going to do is see by hand which I can send further, a dry fitting or a fitting that I throw some pipe sealant on. Because the pipe sealant lubricates and helps you tighten it more. It also compacts as you're tightening it, creating a better seal. This is the fitting I'm going to be making my connection on. I'm going to make my final connection. I just passed my air test. As you can see, I have pressure on my gas pipe. I actually have about 8 pounds it looks like. 8 psi and that's why you don't want to over tighten because you're gonna have when this is actually full of just natural gas you're only gonna have one psi of pressure tops it's like seven seven and nine inches of water column for natural gas coming in so let me just take it apart I like to use something when I got a fitting like this I know by hand I'm gonna grab I like to use something that's not going to tear it up. So this has like a nice smooth jaw. I can get it on here just to turn it and take it off. For now, it will stay on its own. Probably not. And this, I'm going to ruin my paint job a little. Always paint pipe outside. So I can always touch it up. But okay, so that's the right size. Now let's loosen this off. It's going to have air in it. That's actually tightening, but with gas pipe, I find a lot of times it's easier to tighten first. You break the seal the dope or sealant has made, and then loosening becomes a little easier. A lot of guys have different methods. I could drop the air out of this pin. This is why I don't like to use anything with teeth, so I like to use my hands here. And I mean, we're now leaking. So my pressure is coming out. And I'm gonna just wait till my pipe drops. I'm at about three pounds, two pounds, one pound do. Never when it's under heavy pressure, try to take it off. I mean, that seven pounds is nothing. I always like to wipe whatever was there. I mean, this stuff, We'll probably even what's here would make another seal, but and I never have any leaks when I use this stuff. So 
I like this Pro Dope. It's very inexpensive, but it's very good. I mean, they have a lot of ones that get pretty pricey, but for years I've used this, and like I said, no leaks. That's what it's all about. You never want any leaks. So, now, on most gas appliances, you have a fitting almost like this. This is a union. Again, I don't want to screw this all up. So, let's crack it. Mm -mm -mm. This gets no sealant. This is as tight as you can get it. So, let's just see. Boom. Okay, we're loose. Now, because it's loose, this will spin. And then, that's how I'm going to tighten it. So. Oh, great. Great. Uh, they made it a little shy. Let's see what I could do. And like I said, no sealant's going to go on that side. So this, I'm going to tighten. But you don't over-tighten gas fittings ever. But I'm going to tighten from here. Because what happens is if I tighten from here, if this is a little loose, I'm not going to do much. But I don't want that to be loose, so I want to, as I tighten, send it in. I'm going to send this in and the behind it. So. You see? It looked like it may have turned there. So that's tightening in there, giving it a little more seal. Okay, so I don't need to kill this. That should be good enough. I mean, if I grab the bigger wrench, this would keep turning. But it's very minimum, the gas pressure in here. I always like to clean up my fittings once I'm done. Makes it easier when I leak check it to make sure I don't have any leaks. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna paint it. So now I gotta make this connection, which somebody just cut me short. Boom. But it's okay, because once it grabs, hey, uh. <laughs> let's just see, let's straighten this piece out, the flexible connector. I may have to add a little bit on, nope, I caught. So now it's gonna pull itself together. Now this has to be tight. This is a flare connection. This a flare you wanna compress. You don't wanna kill a flare also, but it has to be tight. Okay, there we go. Now let's, I have it open here. I gotta go inside, turn the pressure on, turn the gas back on so this way it's pressured. We need a leak search it. Now I'm gonna test it for any leaks. It's full of gas. Well, actually right now it's mostly air. You can use Windex, soapy water, anything you want. Windex will bubble up. Let's see what it's doing. Anything bubbling, I'm even... sure and verify you don't have gas leaks this is outside so it's not as critical but still you don't want gas leaking out your customer is paying for it you're paying for it so but as I'm doing this I'm searching all the pipe it's like inside the fittings and everything let's release you from the for bubbles so, we got something right there. Do I have a gas leak? We're going to keep our eye on that. I'm going to come back to it. If it's leaking, we should see expansion. Little bubbles popping up on occasion. I'm not seeing any. It could just be settlement. You will get settlement on your pipe. 
So let's see, same spot. It'll start the bubble if there's a leak, so. I'm not seeing anything, just that one little bubble there, which is settlement. Go around the pipe fitting. Try to see if anything, because the bubbles will grow. Nothing. All right, this side looks pretty good. Um, I'm even looking lower, but that all looks good. Back in here looks pretty good. Like I said, you'll get the settlement. Flares need to be tight or else they could leak. If it's leaking, it will just keep expanding. Nothing. We'll give it a second, but there's nothing. Even this side. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Nothing. Nope. And I didn't make this connection, so I'm just making sure it's solid. Which it is. All right, so now, here's something with gas that you have to do with most gas appliances. Because right now, this line is full of air. So what I'm gonna do real quick is right here, I'm actually gonna loosen this just a little. Now look, that's what a leak would look like. See how it's bubbling up and everything like that. But I'm releasing the air from here. So, but if you have a gas leak, even if I tightened it a little, you still would have some bubbling. It's still loose, but I'm letting the air out of it so that I can be able to start my machine. Let's go a little tighter. I'm gonna, did I seal it? I want to leave it where it leaks just a little bit. Ah, that might have sealed it. But it's okay. Like I said, now it's loosen again. I'm just trying to get air out of it. You gotta spill a little bit till you smell gas. That's like anything, but you can see the bubbles coming out. Gas leak, and that's what you'll find on a gas leak. So if you do a gas connection and you spray it and you're seeing any kind of bubbling, it may even be smaller than this, it may just be little foam, but it'll keep growing and growing. It's not gonna be one bubble and it just sits there. It's gonna keep, and, it, and like I said, it'll, it may just form white foam, depending. But Windex bubbles really good as you can see that. So, I'm still not smelling gas yet, so open more. Okay. Right there. Nope. Now I can hear it, but push this in so it's not sitting correctly. It's not making a seal. Still smelling air. It's a long gas line. It's a brand new gas pipe just out of an air test after its inspection. All right, now I'm starting to smell some gas. It's bleeding a gas line. You're gonna do that, and then you're gonna tighten it up. Good. Spray it again, make sure 
it's good which it is so I mean I could always tighten it if not but it's good I'm gonna leave this alone for a little while all right so like I said it's a lubricant so it'll help you sink it more Let's do this now. I'll use gloves so I can maybe get a little more pressure. I'm not going to use a wrench. This is just hand tight. So we'll see how far I can sink it by hand. Okay, that's where the pipe is just slipping in my hand now. So I have at least a half inch of thread remaining. Let's see inside where it's at. So now. I'm gonna use the other side and see what I could sink it at with a little bit of dope. Like I said, this is a sealant and a lubricant, so a little bit of dope on there. And here we go. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it won't go further. I'm curious to see. It could be the same. But everybody on most of my videos keeps arguing with me that it's more of a lubricant than anything. And that did go. Oh, same. A little further in. Not much, but a little further in. But remember, I'm using my hands. So the half inch marker there, I had over a half inch the other way. Or the other way. Let's first make sure they're both equal. They may not be. So I got two centimeters there. I got about three quarter. This side, about the same, about three quarter. Two centimeters, we'll even look at centimeters, two centimeters, okay. So that's the dope side I don't wanna use with the dry side. Now I'm gonna say it's about the same. But yet, see, I don't get to really tell without a marker. But also, I've sent that on. Let me add a little more. Not much, just a little bit. The other side, the dry one, I sent on a couple times. So maybe it also, with the threads, it may have opened them up a little. But see, so this is the second time. Sending it on this way, and I'm not turning no more. My hands are spinning. So, all right, yeah, now that went in further now. Not much, but that did go in a little further. So, you can, it does lubricate a little, but it also seals because, as you see, it's compacted right here right where I stopped turning it in it's all compacted packed up tight and that's what it does it packs itself up tight as you're tightening it so oh I hope I was able to help explain how to properly seal gas pipe and you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.